Able's in on air is sponsored by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to be home in the community. Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support comes together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners with Ableton On Air include Yachad, New York, and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, and the Vermont Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Abel Dinonaire has been seen in the following publications, Parkchester Times, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, and www. Ableton On Air is a member of the National Academy for Television Arts and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter. Welcome to this edition of Ableton On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently abled. I've always been your host, Lauren Seiler, on this television program today. This is a part two of our show last time, which we talked about deafness. We spoke about Alexander Graham Bell and um, Thomas Edison and their work. And um, we're going to go through the history of Helen Keller and Ann Sullivan and their work. First, we would like to thank uh, Green Mountain Support Services, Washington County Mental Health, Muslim Media Corporation, which includes the Parkchester Times, uh, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, and the Muslim Community Report. And we're also members of uh, the, National, uh, uh, the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter. And now on with the uh, show, um, let's talk about Helen Keller and what she did. Um, Helen Keller was born uh, let's um, go here. Um, you can find all this information on um, Wikipedia and many other sites about Helen Keller's life. Helen Keller, Helen A Adams Keller, was born uh, July, I'm sorry, June 27th, 1880, and she died, she died, she passed away June 1st, 1968. She was an American author, disability rights advocate, political um, activist and lecturer. She was born in uh, Toscumbia, Alabama, and she lost sight and hearing uh, after a bout of illness at the age of 19 months. She then communicated prim pr primarily using home signs at the age of seven um, by the way, we're going to be showing pictures as uh, we're talking about her life. Um, when she met her first teacher and lifelong companion, Anne Sullivan, who taught, her the, who taught her language, reading, and writing. Sullivan's first lessons involved spelling words on Keller's hand, uh, such as water and uh, the word doll, because back then, also, back then in the 1800s, uh, people with special needs weren't treated um, great. Um, they were usually placed in institutions. <clears throat> uh, she was taught reading and writing, uh, and Sullivan's first lessons involved spelling words on Keller's hand uh, that showed her uh, the objects around her. She also learned how to speak and understand other people's writing using the, the Tagoma method. <clears throat> After the education of both specialist and mainstream schools, she attended the Radcliffe College at Hartford University to become the first deaf-blind person um, to earn 
a Bachelor of Arts degree. She, Helen Keller wrote the, um, and, and worked for the American Foundation for the Blind, AFB, from 1924 until 1968, uh, during which time she toured the United States and traveled around 35 countries around the globe, um, also advocating for those with vision loss. Um, I'm one with vision loss, um, but I don't let my disability get the best of me. So uh, Keller was, pro was a prolific prolific author of 14 books and hundreds of speeches and essays on topics ranging from animals to um, Mahatma Gandhi. Um, Keller campaigned for those with disabilities for women's suffrage, labor rights, and world peace. She joined the Socialist Party of America in 1909. She also was a supporter of the NAACP and the original member of the American Civil Rights, sorry, the American Civil Liberties Union. In 1933, when her book, How, to Beca How I Became a Socialist, was burned by Nazi youth, she wrote an open letter to the student body of Germany condemning censorship and prejudice. The story of Keller, because also in 1933, um, Hitler gave speeches all around the world, um, which um, really started World War II um, later on. Um, the story of Keller, of, Keller and and of Keller and Sullivan became most famous by Keller's autobiography in 1903, The Story of My Life and its adaptations for film and stage called The Miracle Worker. Uh, her birthplace is now a museum and sponsors an annual um, Helen Keller Day. Her, her June 27th birthday is, com is commemorated as Helen Keller Day in Pennsylvania. Okay, the story of Keller and Sullivan was made um, famous by Keller's author, 1903 biography, The Story of My Life, and its adaptations of film and stage. The Miracle Worker, her birthplace is now a museum, and they sponsor a Helen Keller Day. June 27th birthday is, com is comm commemorated by Helen Keller Day in Pennsylvania, and the, the centennial year of her birth was recognized by the presidential proclamation of U.S. President Jimmy Carter. Now, in terms of Miracle Worker, um, there are several movies here and uh, television, uh, Helen Keller movies. Let's go here. Several uh, movies about Helen Keller. Um, the Miracle Worker is, was in 1962. Uh, Helen Keller and her story was 1954. Um, Hitler's Reign of Terror um, was 1934, um, and Helen Keller was mentioned in that. Um, 1919 is called Deliverance. Um, that that's another movie, but the. Um, the Miracle Worker um, was the most famous um, movie, and it also um, was in the 1970s by with Melissa Gilbert as um, uh, as um, Helen Keller as a small child. Now, um, there's an, a cartoon I would like to tell everybody about. Uh, it. There's a Helen Keller cartoon, which um, is also a good one for young children um, who don't know about. Um, it's, it's called um, Helen Keller. It's on DVD, um, but it's by, it's called Animated Hero Classics. 
Uh, let's uh, roll that, and we can also run the um, the uh, what you, the um, video. Let's roll that video. Five, four, three. Thank you and welcome back. We're going to edit that in. Um, it's by Animated Hero Classics uh, by Nest Productions, um, and it is um, with Helen Keller. Let's go over um, the books of Helen Keller and her life. <clears throat> we'll give you guys some book recommendations. Um, there, um, there are several books here. We can uh, probably uh, show the, um, the book covers. Uh, the Story of My Life uh, by Helen Keller, um, which is a great book. Um, the one we mentioned. The Story of My Life was pu published in 1903. Uh, Helen Keller's autobiography uh, detailing her life, especially her experiences with Anne Sullivan. Portions of it were, uh, were adapted by William Gibson for a 1957 Playhouse 90 production of uh, the Broadway play. Uh, in 1962, a Hollywood feature film um, and the Indian film called Black, B-L-A-C-K, the book is dedicated to, uh, was dedicated to inventor Alexander Graham Bell, because it mentions him as well. Um, the publication history of the story of my life, uh, Keller began to first write the story of my life in 1902, it, which is, she still was a student at Rad Radcliffe College. Um, which was the first published in the Ladies' Home Journal that, that same year with the series of installments uh, following when it was published by Doubleday, Page, and Company. Um, and there are other books um, by her. I will mention those. And she gave also... Um, a bunch of speeches throughout her life. We'll go over those as well. Um, the World I Live In, uh, there's a book called Helen Keller, uh, I Determined, let's go over that a little bit. Uh, Determined Life Snapshots. Um, and there's also um, Who Was Helen Keller? Um, it was, it was also um, pu published by someone. Um, Helen Keller uh, wrote several books. The Light in My Darkness is one of my favorites. Um, and there's a children's book called I Am Helen Keller by, uh, by Brad um, Meltz. Uh, there's one called uh, Midstream, The Later Life of Helen Keller. Uh, there's one called Optimism uh, by Helen Keller, and it's with her with a um, cap and gown. She went to because uh, she went to college. Um, there's one. Uh, there's another book, a picture book of Helen Keller, um, which is let's um, there's actual video. The picture book by Helen Keller. Uh, it's a first grade book. Um, there's another book by Helen Keller called Out of the Dark, Helen Keller's Journal, um, Song of the Stonewall, Helen Keller, um, The Open Door, Helen Keller, Helen Keller, and The, um, and the Teacher. Uh, there's several, lots and lots of books. Um, by her, uh, Helen Keller and the Teacher and the Story of Helen Keller and, and Sullivan. Um, this book is by Joseph P. Lash, 
At the heart of the wonderful biography is the brilliantly portrayed relationship between the two great American women who, whose lives were bound together for all time. Something fascinating in every page. Um, now, let's go um, into uh, Ann Sullivan's life. Now, Ann Sullivan was the assistant and teacher of Helen Keller. Um, she's really important to note uh, for anyone studying uh, the life of Ann Sullivan. Okay, um, Ann Sullivan um, was born Joanne Mansfield Sullivan, um, April 14th, 1866, and um, October 20th, 1936, she passed away. Was an American teacher and was best known as the instructor of the lifelong companion of Helen Keller. At the age of five, Sullivan contracted... Um, trachoma, an eye disease which partially blinded her and without reading or writing skills. She received education as a student at the Parkins School for the Blind. After graduating at age 20, she, she became a teacher to, um, to Helen Keller. Sullivan was born on, on April 14, 1866 in Feeding Hills, Agawam, Massachusetts. According to her baptismal certificate, her name at birth was Joanna Mansfield Sullivan. However, she was called Anne or Annie from birth. She was the oldest child of Thomas and Alice Klosky Sullivan, um, who immigrated to the United States from Ireland due to the Great Famine. When Alan, when, when Anne Sullivan was five years old. Sullivan contracted bacterial eye disease and a bacterial eye disease called trachoma, which is which caused many fame, painful um, infections over time, made her nearly blind. She she at the age of eight, um, her mother died from tuberculosis, and her father abandoned the children two years later for fear that she, he could not raise them on her own. Um, she and her younger brother, James, were sent to a rundown, overcrowded Ames house in, in Tewksbury, Massachusetts. Today, the, the Tewksbury Hospital and, um, and their younger sister, uh, Mary, were left <clears throat> to their aunt, uh, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy had a weak hip condition and died from tuberculosis four months into their stay. Anne, re Anne remained at uh, Tewksbury after, after his death and endured two unsuccessful eye operations. Due to the re reports of cruelty, to inmates at Tewksbury, um, including uh, certain practices and cannibalism, um, the, the, the Massachusetts Board of State Charities launched an investigation into the institution in 1875. Um, this is coming from Wikipedia. Um, uh, for those that don't know that, so I'm just letting you know I'm reading from Wikipedia here. Due to, um, now, in um, February 1877, Anne was sent, Anne Sullivan was sent to the Sears, the Sears Dare Charity Hospital in Lowell, Massachusetts, which she had another unsuccessful operation. Remaining there, she helped the nuns in the wards and ran on errands um, in the community until July of that same year, which we, she was sent to the city infirmary. Now, just to let you know that um, a lot of people with uh, disabilities 
were sent to institutions um, or they were known as out of sight, out of mind, um, which um, changed over the years uh, due to several uh, situations and laws. Um, you're not allowed to really institutionalize anybody anymore, even though they still have some institutions that are still around. Um, instead of returning to the facility for predominantly ill and insane patients, she was housed at, with single mothers and unmarried pregnant women. Due to a subsequent uh, inspection in Tewksbury in 1880, the Franklin Be Benjamin uh, by Franklin Benjamin Sanborn, now State Inspector of Charities, and beseeched him, and he allowed her to be admitted to the Parkins School for the Blind within nine months for her plea to be granted, because uh, she was begging to be educated, um, and. And began her studies at the Perkins School for the Blind on um, October 7th, 1880. Although, although her rough manners um, were in her first years at Perkins, humiliating, and it was humiliating for her, she managed to connect with a few teachers and made progress for her learning. Um, and it goes on here. Now, in terms of her awards, um, in 1932, Keller and Sullivan were each awarded honorary fellowships from the Educational Institute in Scotland. Uh, they were awarded honorary degrees from Temple University. In 1955, Keller was awarded an honorary degree from Harvard University. And in 1956, the, um, the director's college at Perkins School was named for the Keller's Macy College. In 2003, Sullivan was inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame. Um, so um, we only have a couple minutes left. Uh, let's go into um, some of the speeches that Keller made. Um, okay, um, there's several pie pieces on YouTube you, people can look at. Um, a year to remember, uh, 1948, Keller um, made a speech in uh, Sydney, Australia. Um, Helen Keller speaks out. Um, and there's also a Helen Keller channel on YouTube. Now, there's rare footage of 1930 of Keller uh, with the help of um, Ann Sullivan. Um, and there's how Helen Keller learned to talk. Now, her most famous speech, um, and quote here, the, one of the quotes from Helen Keller, I am not dumb now, I am not dumb now, and strike against war. Um, she basically spoke about the war and um, how bad it was. So let me go, one of the f most famous quotes of Helen Keller, which is really important. Now, if you want to look at Helen Keller quotes, you can go online. There's plenty of them. Okay. One of the, um, there's a lot of famous quotes here, so let me go over just a couple of them. Um, life is neither daring, is neither a daring adventure or nothing. The best and most beautiful thing in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. And alone, we can do little. Together, we can do so much. And with that, I would like to say thank you to our sponsors, Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, uh, Muslim Media Corporation, which includes the Parkchester Times, New York Parrot, and the Muslim Community Report. Um, we would also like to thank our, par our partners, um, Yahad, 
New York and New England, uh, as well as uh, the Orthodox Union, and uh, and um, the the one of our greatest partners of Able to Learn Air is the Vermont um, Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired. I am. We are also members of the National. Uh, the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter. Uh, Arlene's not here today. We would like to thank our sponsors again, Green Mountain Support Services, Washington Canada Mental Health, and many, many others. Um, uh, this puts an end to this edition of Able Then On Air. I'm Lauren Seiler. Thank you for joining me today um, so we can talk uh, about um, the history of uh, certain topics. We're going to be doing that from now on, adding some history segments to Abledon On Air. Thank you very much for joining me on this edition of Abledon On Air. I am Lauren Seiler. See you next time. Ableton On Air is sponsored by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to be home in the community. Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support comes together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners with Ableton On Air include Yachad New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, and the Vermont Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Able Den on Air has been seen in the following publications. Parkchester Times, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, and www.h.com. Able Den on Air is a member of the National Academy for Television Arts and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter.